Hey guys, welcome to BDD with Cucumber in-depth training session. So in today's session, I will cover the complete BDD with Cucumber. So today's agenda is introduction to BDD and introduction to Cucumber, advantages of Cucumber over other tools, precondition required to start your journey with Cucumber and Selenium, <coughs> how you can develop one simple Cucumber framework from the scratch. Right, there are three concepts of the Cucumber uh, BDD framework. One is like um, the scenario, and then second one is the step definition, and third one is the uh, uh, runner class. So we'll see how we can create single or multiple uh, scenario or the features file into that. Uh, um, uh, sorry, uh, a single or multiple scenario under the features file. How we can <coughs> implement undefined step. How we can add the background. How you can create multiple pictures file, multiple scenario. What is the importance of scenario outline and examples? What are the cucumber tag and hooks? What is tagged hook in cucumber? How we can set the order of cucumber hook? What is cucumber report? How we can generate different kind of report like HTML, JSON, XML, as well as extend report. So as of now, <coughs> we already understand about different framework like data driven, keyword, and hybrid. So data driven means single test case we are trying to execute with different variety of the data. Whereas keyword driven means we are trying to execute our test cases based on the keyword. So those keyword will be writing one time and will be using them multiple times. And hybrid is nothing but a combination of keyword and data driven framework. But here we will trying to understand about the BDD which is behavior driven development. So in the other framework like first 3 data driven keyword hybrid framework, we already discussed that like only QA person, especially automation person who is having more knowledge on framework tool and the programming knowledge so they can participate. But sometime, right, we would require participant from all the aspect means developer can participate, our business analyst, our product owner, our management, our scrum master, they can also participate. Then what is the best framework we can use? So we should use the BDD. So in behavior driven development or BDD, you should write test first and add application code then. BDD gives user an opportunity to create test key from both the developers and the customer's perspective as well. So in the beginning, developer, project manager, QA, UT tester, product owner, scrum master, everyone get together and brainstorm about which test scenario should be passed in order to call the software or application successful. This way, they come up with a set of test scenario. All these test scripts are in simple English language. So it serves the purpose of documentation also. So in BDD with Cucumber, primarily we'll be using simple English language. Otherwise, it is called Charkin language. What is the features of BDD? So first, we'll be describe the behavior. Then we'll write the step definition they will run and fail initially because your code is not ready but still you can develop your BDD framework after that your code will be ready your application will be up and running so slowly your test case will be write your pass and then you will be again running and passing them so that is the approach of the BDD so here we are shifting from thinking in test to thinking in behavior we are driving our test strategy or execution from the B in the in terms of behavior Collaboration between different stakeholders, it can be business analyst, QA, developer, scrum master, management team as well. Driven by business value, BDD frameworks such as Cucumber or JBM are an enabler, acting as a bridge between business and technical language. BDD is popular and can be utilized for unit level test cases as well as for UI level test cases. The scenario I written based on the expected behavior of the software and it is tested to check if it is matched said scenario. This scenario are documented using a domain specific language such as Jarkin. In each test scenario, a natural language construct constructing small English like phrase are used to describe the behavior and expected outcome of an application. These are done using dedicated software tool like Cucumber, which allows the execution of automated acceptance tests written in Jarkin. So here simple language will be using. It's a kind of simple English phrase language in the features file. After that, if you run the features file, then automatically it will suggest you that what step you need to implement 
then you will adding those step in your step definition class and definitely you'll be adding the code inside that but the step features file anyone can easily understand there is no coding language required there is no tool language required there is no knowledge in the uh, framework is also not required so everyone can understand what is the objective what are the thing we want to certify or we want to execute to certify the product of the application that is the important aspect of the bdd or the behavior driven development introduction to cucumber a cucumber is a tool based on behavior driven development framework which is used to write acceptance test for the web application here it is mentioned accepts acceptance test but we can do the testing for ui level for integration level for end to end level as well it allows automation of functional validation in easily readable and understandable format like plain english to business analyst developer testers scrum master product owner etc cucumber features file can serve as a good document for all there are many other tool like jbf which also support bdd framework initially cucumber was implemented in ruby and then extended to java framework both the tools support native junit so here as of now we already learned about like uh, kind of uh, different um, project where we have created like java class or test ng class but here we will try to create a not a java project right where we will try to create a maven project and we will try to execute our script using junit so these are the two part you will be additional learning as part of today's session cucumber read the code written in plain english text jharkhand language in the features file it find the exact match of each step in the step definition class the piece of code to be executed can be different software framework like selenium ruby on rail etc not every bdd tool supports every tool so this has become the reason for cucumber popularity over others important framework like jbf jdf or ezb etc cucumber supports over a dozen of different software platform like ruby on rail selenium pico containers spring framework and oetl what are the advantage of cucumber over other tools cucumber support different programming language like java dotnet and ruby it acts as a bridge between the business and technical language because we need to not understand that not technical language right but this is acting as a bridge between these two different identity user can accomplish this by creating a test case in plain english text it allow the test script to be written without knowledge of any code it allows the involvement of non programmer as well it serve the purpose of end to end test framework unlike other tool due to simple test script architecture cucumber provides code reusability as well so what are the pre cut criteria required whenever you want to use cucumber tool and you want to implement pdd framework so first you require the java right any version or like beyond 1.11 because right now java will uh, from september onward java, uh, october onward uh, the eclipse also or the selenium also not support java 1.8 it only supports 1.11 and more than that you would require the eclipse id <coughs> after that where are you need to install the cucumber so how can you do it if you open eclipse it's only one time activity so you can go to the help right here it is mentioned here you need to go to the help and install new software and here you can simply give the url right cucumber.github.io cucumber eclipse update site and press enter Okay. Suppose say in case I am just copying that URL here. So this is only one time activity you need to do. You could see the cucumber will be displayed. You could see the cucumber plugin, right? And you need to uh, select that one. Okay. Maybe if you expand it, right? Lot of things will be coming. You need to. Yeah, it is taking some time. after the next and finish that's all you need to do automatically cucumber will be added to your project for to your eclipse this is only one time activity okay so it might take some time to download all the component which already downloaded in my system right you could see this check box will come all the paths is after that you need to restart your eclipse so that part is done so you already have java installed you already have maven installed means uh, sorry maven uh, uh, not installed automatically in your uh, like in case you are using eclipse more than 2018 version automatically maven will be there in as part of your eclipse 
and Eclipse version. So now I will be creating not a Java project instead of that we will be creating a Maven project. So what is the difference between Java project and Maven project? So in Java project what you are doing suppose in case I open the Java project right our uh, due to design. So after creating the Java project we are manually adding all the jar file right after the properties and then <coughs> Java build path and then right add external jars right we are adding all the jar file here one by one. Suppose say tomorrow what problem happens? Suppose say tomorrow 1.14 version you need to upgrade to 1.16. So what you need to do? You need to download 1.16 from the relevant uh, like uh, site, and again you need to remove all the 1.14, and again you may need to manually add 1.16. So that is the I mean I mean kind of hectic process, right? Sometimes in case you are not uh, downloading properly, right? It might be issue. Suppose in case 20 file is there, so you need to manually add one by one. I mean in case you are forgetting one, that might be problem. So I don't want to go with the Java project in the real time, right? So I want to create a Maven project. So how you can do it? You can click on the file, new. Then you can go with the other. Okay, here you can type Maven. So Maven will be automatically there. Okay, Maven project, and you can click on next. And you can select here, create a simple project, skip archive selection. Otherwise, it will be very very time consuming. It will take huge time to select the archetype. And in case you are not able to select the relevant archetype, it will be problem. So it's better to create uh, without archetype selection, so it will work. And here there is a two part of the Maven project. One is the group ID, one is the artifact ID. In Java project only you are giving the project name, but here two things. One is group ID, one is artifact ID. What is the difference? So suppose say every organization, every customer is having their own access, right, own uh, thing, right, so that by easily they can easily understand that belong to their project or that belong to their uh, company, that customer like that. So, so here you can give that unique ID or unique name, whatever your organization is following. Suppose say, like I am providing the training, I am having my own uh, uh, kind of channel which is called Haradhan Automation Library. So I used to provide that unique identifier. So I can easily understand that is created by me, like like that. Okay. So that is the group ID. So it will be unique for all my Maven project. So it will be unique for all your organization Maven project across your whatever project you are creating. An artifact ID is nothing but what project ID you want to create. Suppose say um, June 2023 BDD project, right? BDD project. Anything I can do. So that group ID is your organization identifier or customer identifier or your own identifier. An artifact ID is nothing but the project ID. After that, you need to click on finish. So it might take a couple of seconds time. You could see here it is coming working and your project will be created right what is the project you've created and it will be coming here so in case it is not coming here just click here okay and you can refresh it file and uh, refresh so we have created our project okay uh, yeah selenium what is the project you have created june 2023 cucumber bg project <coughs> now you could see automatically folder structure got created. So there will be primary four folder SRC main Java, SRC main resources, SRC main test Java, SRC test resources. So in case you are working from the testing standpoint, you should use these two folders. SRC test Java, SRC test resources primarily. SRC test resources means you can keep all your resources like your uh, exe file, right? Or maybe the Chrome driver exe file, other exe file, you can store it here and you can keep the path from here. And all the packages you can create here okay and before that there is a pom.xml file already coming so all the dependency right maven is sometimes called as dependency management tool means you can add all your dependency into the pom.xml file here pom.xml file means project object model and pom is the design pattern and another design pattern is there which is called page object model so do not confuse so maven pom.xml file is project object model and here your uh, uh, normal POM design pattern is page object model. So here you need to add the dependency stack. So how you can do it before the project, if you click dependency, dependency, right? You need to add dependency stack. Under the dependency, you need to add all your dependency. So you just simply do it. And here you need to add all the dependency. So what dependency is really required to start your journey for the BGD, I have listed it here. And from where you can get it, you need to go to the mavenrepository.com path and you need to add these five dependencies for starting your journey. 
cucumber java cucumber core cucumber j unit cucumber pico container cucumber charkin so you need to always use io.cucumber package because it's a new version and info.cucs are the older version do not get confused in case you are taking for info.cuc it will not work so what i will do i'll go the maven repository folder so this is my path here maven repository and here i could simply type like first what is the thing i need to do cucumber java cucumber java search for normal starting point here you could see cucumber jvm java i need to go with always io.cucumber not the info.cuc info.cuc is old one it was used till 2018 after that you need to use always io.cucumber okay and you can use any version so i can use say any latest version maybe whatever i have comfortable here right maybe um, yeah that one 7.2.3 it came 2000 you can use other version other person did not try it might some problem might come but that is the version i have already established so that is the reason i'm using it and you could see there are a lot of folder right lot of uh, tab is there as you are using maven project simply you need to copy it and you need to paste it here under the dependency so that dependency added then next what dependency i need to add cucumber code okay so what i will go i will go again here and i will type cucumber code cucumber code and again search so same version you need to use i have cucumber always and 7.2.3 i can use so same version otherwise it will be create confusion a problem here for cucumber code copy simply copy everything and paste it here so cucumber java cucumber code done the next cucumber j unit again i will go here cucumber j unit cucumber pico container cucumber search cucumber j unit search so here you need to use cucumber jvm info.cucumber yeah, cucumber jvm j unit 4 Cucumber J unit. Cucumber hyphen if I be better. Seven point two point three again. I can take cucumber J unit seven point two point three. This added, and then third is cucumber jarkins and cucumber pico container. So these two also I will add cucumber jarkin and cucumber pico container. These five things is really required to start your job. Cucumber JVM, I wrote cucumber always remember. Cucumber JVM Jarkins, not Jarkin Vintage. Okay, 7.2.3. Again, I can take. I can go with the Maven here. And then another one is Cucumber Pico Container. Last one. Cucumber Pico Container. Again, it should be IO cucumber package, not info from cube. Again, same version I can use 7.2.3. Even you can go with the latest version, it should work, but I did not try it. Might be having okay. any version you can use, but same version for always five these things. And first one is cucumber Java, cucumber core, cucumber J unit, cucumber charkin, and cucumber pico container. After that, you need to press a control S, press save button. So you could see here it is taking time. So what is used to do Maven? As soon when you are adding the dependency along with the version number, automatically all the relevant jar file, whatever is available in the Maven repository, automatically try to download those jar file into your project. So you no need to manually download it associated to the project. 
and you automatically it will be downloaded based on the version you are adding. Suppose say tomorrow I need to change, right? I order to come with there, to come with there, but I need to change it to 7 point, suppose say 8 .0. Simply here you can update 7.8.0. So what it will do, it will remove the 7.2.3 and it automatically it will again download 7.8.0 and it will automatically add to your project. So that is the beauty of the map and project. So no need to manually do it, delete it, remove it, download it again. So your Maven form or XML file will also help you, right, to do the all that thing. It will remove the old jar file. It will remove the uh, update with the latest jar file. Now you could see, refresh the project, and you could see here in the Maven dependency all the jar files you could see got added, right, automatically. I did not add it manually. So all the jar file, whatever we have added, try to add through the form dot XML file is got added. So that is the way, this is the starting point I would require to install. Then here you need to, whenever you are talking about the Cucumber framework, so you would require the business requirement or the user story point, then you need to create your features file, then you need to create your step definition class to define the undefined step, after that you would require the test runner class. So what is features file? A standalone unit or single functionality for a project can be called as features. Each of these features will have scenario that must be tested using Selenium integrated with Cucumber. A file that stored data about feature, their description and the scenario to be tested is called features file. Cucumber tests are written in this features file that are stored with the extension will be always dot feature, a p a t u r e. A features file can be given a description to make the documents more legible. So what is the feature file should be doing? There will be given, when and then condition. Given is nothing but the precondition. When is nothing but the step to reproduce and then is nothing but the outcome or the expected result of the test case. So how I will be creating the features file? So before that in the src test java folder, I will be creating three packages first. So this is my src test java folder, here I will be creating three packages simply I will create package. First one is that steps, sorry, uh, uh, features. Okay, that first package I will create. I will create two more packages. One is step. Or maybe steps only, steps. Okay, that is the second package. And third package I will be creating for runner. Runner. The three package created now in the features file. I can create a features file. So, before that, suppose say let's try to open the Google page. Okay, so this simple thing, think forget about the coding any other stuff. Simply, you want to open the Google page, right? And you need to type here, say Java tutorial manually. After that, you need to enter hit, right? Uh, hit enter button. Okay. So, what will happen? All the Java tutorial related thing, right, which is filtering based on criteria will be displayed. So, what is the precondition here? Your browser should be installed in your system. You should open the browser, maximize it. That is the precondition. Step whatever you are doing, you are simply adding, uh, first identify the search text box, which is enabled, then you are adding Java tutorial and then you are pressing keyword, enter keyword. So that is your step to reproduce or when and then means your expectation is that all relevant result related to Java tutorial should be displayed in the search box. So that is the thing you are coming. So that is your then, right. So simply that part also I can right articulate in the normal single language. So I will create the features first, okay, new features file. So you can use file. So I can give something called Google dot feature f e a t u r e all of extension will be dot feature name you can give anything for different pages like google facebook ready like anything or maybe your application pages but it will be feature will be extension dot feature you could see but here it is not giving the cucumber part so some problem might be there in the new eclipse so what you need to do in case you want to go with the eclipse one you need to open with editor okay so that is the cucumber sign features file sign right you could see now 
automatically it is giving you a lot of things so you can that is the kind of way features file should i mean you should understand that is the way features file should be have so author you can give the author name who is author right along with their own name phone number anything you can give so this is the comment part right single has means here comment with single line that is not included directly commented out then you can give some summary of the feature list of the scenario whatever is under the feature because one single features can have multiple scenario then scenario is like high level scenario or the business rule uh, throw list of steps with argument then given is the precondition when is the action you are doing and then is the outcome and 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 but also you can use means multiple condition or maybe some negative condition you can use and or but right in case same scenario you want to execute with different variation of the data so instead of repeating same line again and again and again you can use scenario outline that will be covering here right to list of step for data driven as an example and placeholder example will be related to the scenario outline background in case your precondition is like unique so instead of writing all the precondition step again and again and again you can use background grab background and wherever other features will be there you no need to use that given part automatically will take from the background okay then you can have the comments also so that is the way your features file should look okay you should have features then you should have some scenario and then here given when and then with and and but multiple but in case you are having multiple features you can also do it with the scenario outline so here you could see scenario outline right this is the part you want to vary to the different combination of data so that will be within that double bracket that, that part to code and you need to use the example and here the first one will be your uh, row right header and second one second one one it will be your value which how many number of iteration you want to execute same test case again and again and again so that is the way you can do it let's remove everything okay or keep it go to the original features google features now i will try to write it simple step whatever you have discussed right to automate uh, that um, uh, like uh, java search here yeah, google page right i will try to articulate simple english language so that everyone can understand so i will be doing it features a p a t u r e exact what you need to use feature search in google home page I can search anything. So this is my high level features, and here I can have one scenario, or maybe you can again convert it so that you color will get changed so that you can understand. Here, you could see color automatically get changed here, right? For the particular the thing, scenario. Here you need to give colon, otherwise it will not work. Automatically you could see the color is getting changed because this is the keyword coming from cucumber. Okay, scenario and feature the key keyword from coming from cucumber scenario. search right search java tutorial so that is your scenario right what your features is you want to search in the google home page you can search anything java cucumber like c has selenium all this stuff that is scenario then you can give the given when then part right given google home page open so that is your precondition and before writing the java tutorial and search text box present and enable in google home page okay so this is the two precondition i have given using and two precondition simple linking so that everyone can understand even your product owner scrum master developer they do not require any kind of knowledge that is the use of the bgd then so that part is done precondition done then what you are doing so when you step right you could see this color is getting changed because this is the keyword coming from the cucumber then when user search a course with keyword java tutorial and this is another steps and press enter button from keyboard then what will happen 
given when of there I will be using then now then what will happen all courses related to Java tutorial should be displayed so this is a simple one right anyone can have you give you the uh, the knowledge right uh, that um, what do we update like that so that is the way whenever you are designing the scenario in the uh, features file everyone can review without any knowledge they would not nobody require any knowledge they can easily let you know that what are the coverage is missing what are the feature your features is missing what are the important scenario is missing under the features page by page so everybody can participate in this particular part features definition right whenever you are creating the scenario and the features now this part is done now what I will do I will try to execute simply that one right run as you need to go to the run configuration first you need to set this up right and automatically it will let you know what other thing you need to change here you could see uh, any features right I can use that new configuration oh, no, it will not run anyway okay and will go here I will go to the run as run configuration I will select new configuration I need to change the project okay yeah it's already there it's already changed okay that project name is okay no not that one what is my project June 2023 batch project right June 2023 project. that is my project and what is the path uh, google dot features file is there so I need to go to the workspace then uh, BDD right June yeah, 2003 BDD project then SRC then test then Java then features then google.features file ok so now I'm, I set up the project and features file path now I need to run it or maybe apply and run in the new configuration you could see now it got run but it is throwing the error you could see the scenario search java tutorial from which line number coming src test java features file google.features line number 3 here this is the scenario getting run given and when then everything is coming but you could see these are the different five step right scenario but it will not include these are the step under the scenario is trying to execute it but now it is not able to map it that is the reason you could see it's throwing the error one scenario right four skipped one undefined and it is giving you the suggestion right what you need to define you can implement missing step with the snippet below so what i will do i will copy everything it is already giving you the suggestion that what you need to write it copy it after that in the step right you can create a class say step definition or you can give the page level also you can create multiple class also got it you can create multiple class in the step for each and every pages also so i'll be creating one uh, class only here you can simply give the step whatever you copied now this part i can remove it out though it is coming is not required here this part you can remove it now i'm not writing any code inside that i will show you how to write the code letter point of time at the uh, end and also this part is not required throw part is remove it and this is the commenting part you can simply remove it now you could see some error message is coming because given when and then is still not able to understand in the step definition or java class so you need to import given which is coming from the io.cucumber.java end then given is done and when also you need to import ok because whatever you have given here right given and and it is too given because and in because and that one is not able to understand so it is also considered as a given and when when and also and also here it is also con considered as a when so that is the way and then now i am able to import it okay now i can save it simply and now i able to go to the google features class and i can again run as run configuration and i can select the new configuration and i can run it now you could see you are able to execute and there is no error you could see one scenario passed five steps also passed now you could see 
all your uh, features file step also mapped with the step depression class this is the scenario already mapped this is the first step given now where it is mapped step dot step definition step is the package step definition is the class name and what is the method name is got map right you automatically you could choose that map google home page underscore open with that method it got map this is the method name. similarly other also it's got map because i already defined the steps from the suggestions or the error and then five step got map with the five method and all the thing is run but next questions will come that in that case in case i am having the multiple features file multiple like features multiple uh, scenario will i able to, uh, am i able to run that way no answer will be no then what is the way i need to create a uh, package runner package then i can create a class called test runner and where i can map right map so that whatever uh, i mean features file i'm creating i can run everything from the runner class and it will also create me better report right called junit so what i need to do here i need to use couple of stuff so before the runner class you need to use first at the rate run with okay run with org dot junit dot runner okay here you need to use run with cucumber dot class that is a simple syntax you need to use it that first part then here you need to use at the rate cucumber option the at the rate cucumber option is coming from i dot cucumber dot j unit and here you need to give something called first first bracket it should be first bracket cucumber options yeah, here you can give first one is features you need to match features equal to where it is mapped so you don't need to give the full project it is mapped here right src slash test slash java equal to uh, within the uh, bracket again first bracket equal to first bracket src is rc slash test slash java slash what is the class uh, package name features okay that will be there within the double code then you need to give comma then you need to use glue g l u e where you need to give the path of the step definition this is the package name you should give because this is the same uh, src folder so that is not be a problem again you can give um, first packet here you can give something called that full package name steps exactly okay then again comma and i need to generate some reports so i need to give plugin equal to again first packet within the double code pretty I will under, explain why it is required. Then another thing is last one is the monochrome equal to true. That simple thing it will be common. You no need to worry. So that part you need to define it here. Now press Control S. And now if you try to run is, it will be showing as option as called JUnit test. So through JUnit run class you are trying to run whatever features file is there. So words could not load okay pretty pretty pronunciation is not correct that is the reason you could see could not load plugin class pretty so that is the way how you can understand here just copy the trace notepad and open it that is the way also debugging part is there right that is the way another way you can do pretty pretty does not have any option pretty uh, pronunciation is different P R E T T Y. it should be right you could see java lang illegal argument obsession because that pretty is not a plugin specifier so what i need to do P R E T T Y. pretty so here it is not giving any error but whenever you are trying to run it that is the error is coming so that is the way you can debug your system 
now you can run it what's there it's coming okay STC I have given right the path is not able to find STC path automatically that part is getting added it should be SRC that is the way it might take some time okay but as and when you will be doing more and more right you will be able to understand what's the problem here the thing I have given intentionally wrong so that you can understand how, how to debug the skip because you are having some error issue right the how to debug the skip so that is the way you need to analyze your skip and you need to debug it right you could see the path must exist means some mistake I have did in the path here you could see if you run go by what STC but this would be SRC now SRC test Java features and now you can understand the exact folder name SRC test Java and is exact what FEA TURES FEA TURES and what is the glue means the tape definition class package name steps plugin equal to pretty monochrome equal to 2 now save it and try to run it yeah. now you could see there is no error message and it's got run and it is only giving you the result now if you expand it you could able to see right search in google home page that is the features so what is your features search in google home page and under the features what is your scenario right search java tutorial and one run one there is no error anyway that is not the giving complete picture but there is no failure trace means there is no problem so that is the way you can trying to integrate first and you can just try create a step features file try to implement the all the undefined step in the step definition class create a runner class and try to execute it with the help of the runner class so a lot of thing has been discussed uh, in continuation i will take a pause before proceeding for the next topics So step definition class I already told right the features which are written in the features file the code for the related scenario has to be run to know which batch of the code need to be run for a given scenario step definition come into the picture a step definition file store the mapping data between each step of the scenario defined in the features file and the code to be executed right given when then all this part runner class why it is required to run the test user need a runner test runner file which is a JUnit test runner class containing the step definition location and the other primary metadata required to run the test. To run runner file, you need to use add the red run with annotation from JUnit for executing test. It also uses the add the cucumber option annotation to define the location of the features file, step definition reporting integration, etc. Okay, so that is the part already covered. So, any questions, I will take a pause before proceeding to the other part. I will explain later, okay, no worry, because those part already there in the PPT, okay. <coughs> those part in the reporting I will cover, in case I am not giving, so what will the problem will come, then you can understand. Yeah, it is mandatory right to generate beta report, otherwise it will show uh, illegal report, I will, that is will cover, no worry, why it is required, hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that is the basic schema you need to do, that will be common, that is the basic schema. No, 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 not required. <coughs> okay, in suppose say, I am just letting you know, in case you are removing that one, what will happen? Suppose say, run a class. Let us remove the monochrome equal to 2. Also, need to remove it. So, what happens? Okay. You could see these are the different kind of stuff will be coming, and whatever report might be coming in, different color will be coming. Also, if you remove that plugin equal to pretty, you could understand it will still run, that not be a problem. Okay, now you could see it might break the thing. You could see that thing is not coming at all. The previous part, right? What are the thing? And uh, these are the different things coming here additionally. So, that are the different problem might be coming. So, that is the pretty standard format you need to use, right? Uh, plugin equal to pretty and monochrome equal to two to get the proper better report 
otherwise you will not getting everything so that is the cucumber suggestion or maybe the baby ginger suggestion so as soon when we already used it so you all know these are the things need to be used mandatory for your better reporting but uh, without this part only two parts still work to generate the report but something will not come right sometimes whatever is report is come might be some extra spaces right extra question mark might come so that is another problem you might happen based on your eclipse configuration the like uh, the kind of uh, readability is not proper right you will not able to read everything thoroughly so these are the different kind of stuff my you might face in case you are not using this tool part in the report but are you able to understand the difference how you are right creating a complete framework from the scratch you see cucumber right that is a basic one yeah right you need to run it right manually so automatically it is giving suggestion right yeah and um, in the in the primarily in case you are using data different keyword uh, hybrid framework primarily and you was using ph object model design pattern then you can use the base class okay yeah yeah right the cucumber also you can use it but a uh, very very high level i mean very very complete level one but uh, in case you are having like maybe 150 200 scenario 10 pages you can use that way also not be a problem because the cucumber also is easy to integrate different report like uh, json report jmr report and uh, other extend report also i'll show you how easily you can just do it okay then let's try to uh, <coughs> create one more uh, scenario in the same features file okay so what i'll do i'll go here features file and create copy that one because this same page i'll create one more scenario called maybe say java tutorial i can create something called selenium tutorial so what i'll be same thing will be there common right here you need to change it selenium tutorial here you need to change it selenium tutorial because this other tape will be different right otherwise same thing will be common now you can still run it again so that you can see that what are the new step definition you need to add it so you could see now these two got run but few of the step right there is no step matching step definition class found so you could see here the error also right two steps skipped and uh, something failed so you can get the ding here copy here and you can go to the step definition class it does not matter which sequence you are adding you will try to just map it right it does not matter which sequence or which thing you are giving in case it is within the same package even other class also not be a problem got it so generally what we need to do either we can create a normal step decision class and we can give some comment right suppose say this is for google google dot plant i will simply give a comment i can mention google dot feature so tomorrow in case i am having right like maybe 10 pages right and all maybe uh, like 10 plus 10 method it might be difficult to understand to search the thing right simply i can give google dot feature and then it easily automatically all the class for the google sorry all the method for the google dot feature will be coming easily that is the way in the real time these are the tricks you can write tricks you can implement in the real time framework now again if i want to run it from the test runner class also so it will be giving me the uh, thing right it will generate it will execute the thing okay you could see there is two parts now if you expand it this is your feature same feature and this is the type right, two scenario search java tutorial search selenium tutorial so that is the way but the thing is that here in case you are having 10 scenario like java selenium bdd cucumber all this stuff right uh, c has python but your few of those steps is common right okay so definitely we would require some approach where few of the common step because in case you need to update somewhere every time you have to update it so that is that is a way right in case some step is common primarily before as part of the precondition 
so you can right add some common part for this toe step okay <coughs> so what do you do okay so we will be using something called background in cucumber so most of the time user will find that several scenario in the same feature start with the common context cucumber provides a mechanism for this by providing a background keyword where user can specify steps that should be run before each scenario in the feature a background is much like a scenario containing a number of steps but it runs before each and every scenario where for a features in which it is defined suppose say in case you want to like uh, test something called e-commerce site so every time you need to open the page you need to log into the e-commerce site you need to log in with the user id password that is the common part for doing any kind of operation right? either product search like adding the product to the cart or maybe the site search or returning right payment all this stuff but that should be a common part so that part you can create something called background here it is called reusable component right here the background for the precondition okay then you can that part you can do it so in case something is required you can just only update that background automatically reflect everywhere okay so all the steps only user will be able to add a product to the cart for checkout and able to perform the payment hence login part might be common across all scenario so instead of writing them again and again for all stages user can move it to under the background keyword right so what i will do i will be writing something called okay uh, background okay so where i'll be writing this part background okay so after the features i can write something called background okay so we'll do it under the features i should write something called background g r o u n d give some colon color should get change means it is cucumber fits right part so this is the common part right i can just simply cut it and i can paste under the background and similarly remaining common part you can remove it once it is written you can remove it okay so that way it will work suppose say tomorrow i need to add one more scenario okay so what i will do i will be simply doing adding one more scenario so java cucumber selenium or maybe here i can search with say cucumber right i can simply search so some error will be coming because these are the two step which is not defined so those part i can fix it but this common step i already written only one time in the background in tomorrow i need to change it only i will update in the background part okay but this common step will be con executed for all the scenario whatever is mentioned in the background now let's save it and you can run also from the test runner directly so here it will be failing right new test cases because this two st new steps it is not added in the step definition class you could see it got failed two test cases got passed one test case got failed what is the failure trace copy it trace and just uh, paste it into the notepad you could see this is the new step is failing because the cucumber two part i need to define in the step definition class save it now again try to run it you could see all the test case should get passed okay now you could see here right these are the different step i written only one time as, as part of the background but those two, these two step will be counted executed for every scenario you could see this scenario got executed right which are coming from the this method again for the second scenario this two step again there but i did not return it here right for any scenario it is not written but this coming from the background so these are the common step should be added automatically for every scenario and if you expand it here right three scenario will be there now so that is the way background will work in the cucumber now next thing is called scenario outline an example in cucumber this is called like data driven testing in cucumber how can you do it what is data driven testing same scenario you will be executing n number of time with different variety of the data so that is called scenario outline so let's try to just try to understand simple thing 
so let's try to your understand the facebook page here okay and here you need to open the facebook page you need to enter something for like that you need to enter something like that you need to log in button so in case the invalid button some errors should be displayed right but your user id password combination can be 20 times so i'll i'll are you be writing 20 different step like that no that is your very very time consuming and in case something you need to change everywhere you need to change so what i'll do i will just only varying this data right i will simply just bring the data for most of the thing right my thing will be unsuccessful or something called be successful also okay so these three part i will be varying it one is user id one is password and one is my success or unsuccessful or failure that part i will be also doing it but after clicking on the login button so the simple thing i will try to automate right in single scenario i do try to go with different four combination so what i will do i will close here I'll create a new features called Facebook dot feature. Now, if you simply change it to editor, you could see the let's remove this part and let's remove this part. So, I'll be simply using scenario outline, and before that, I need to use feature. So that part I have removed it. Features. What is my features? Suppose say my feature is like to check Facebook login with varieties of credentials. That is my features. And scenario outline you need to use instead of scenario it should be used scenario outline. Here you need can give the scenario outline to check login functionality of Facebook home page with different variety of the user already given. So that is simple English language. And people anyone can understand right given right that part you can change given user navigates to Facebook login home page okay then whatever you want to vary that should be within that syntax you could see color also get changed right that should be within that particular part so what i will be doing right when user enters here you can give something called username that part you want to vary username username as username or email and password as valid or invalid password right then what you can do login should be here you can give status anything for Facebook home page okay now this part you need to change it here under the examples you need to vary in the data driven testing this is your header and password you can also give it and status this is the three thing you are varying it so say first one is maybe uh, anything right you name you can give something like that that and success so similarly you can go with multiple combinations like that okay so you can go with the four combination it can be success or failure then not be a problem to free password you can maybe give anything say it will not be success it will be failure right or unsuccess 
unsuccessful for most of the cases. Okay. Like that you can keep it. Let's we get code three part. So what we'll be doing now? Same scenario it will try to execute right with three different day type of data that is called data driven test in cucumber with the help of scenario outline example. Na no, 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 that's that is fine. That is the plain English text you are giving. Yeah, that is fine. That not be a problem because here this thing is your main problem. That is the English symbol language, so automatically your uh, method will be automatically drive with that. Okay, so again you need to change. Otherwise, that is not be a problem. Okay. So now what I can do, I can simply run it from the test runner class, right? Because automatically all my features file, because I have associated to this path, not the features file class. So whatever features file under falling into the features, that will automatically execute it. Okay. Now you can run it, so automatically it will fail. Because new Facebook features, whatever we have tried to run, everything should get fail. All are get fail here. Yeah. Okay. You could see the error message right here. But also you can uh, here you will not get it. But if you try to run them manually, so automatically you will get the better one. So try to run them manually. Okay. So you can go with that one you can also get that from the trace also i am showing it again from the manually so browse share you can run it facebook page apply and run so you can get the better uh, error all the error right here you could see now it is showing you three scenario you could see now given navigate to the facebook page now you could see that got changed automatically right that value got changed you could see i have given username but value is taking from the first row here and password also it's checking for the password one which is from here and status also taking from here and successful for the first iteration second scenario it is taking you could see this is taking from here this is taking for here this is taking from here third scenario again you could see this is taking from here three and password two and unsuccessful that is the way now you can go here right three scenario three undefined Right, all step got skipped. Now you can simply copy it. You can create one step definition class, but you can also go to the existing step definition class. For Facebook, also you can create one like uh, Facebook step definition. So I can simply give it layer like Facebook dot feature. So I can simply control it and I can go to the relevant one. Right, simply I will try to remove that code here. got added let's see in case something is missing let's try to run it again <coughs> let's see still any kind of error is there or not no the nine step nine pass three scenario got passed right so my features level is done now i can go to the test runner class i can try to re-execute both the features class you could see now six out of six run but why but here in the facebook features i have only one scenario right but why it is considering three because i am trying to run it three way three different variation of the data first one is the row one and this is the one two and three condition now if you expand it you could see two features one is to check facebook login with credential that is the features right i have given here this is the features now you expand it, your scenario will be same only, the same. And how much time it is taking for each every? Similarly for the Google homepage, this is the different scenario. That is the way you can create multiple features file, multiple scenario. And in case you want to do the data driven testing using BDD and Cucumber, you can use scenario outline and scenario outline should be also enclosed with the example, otherwise it will not work.
Yeah, yeah, I mean that part we do, but here we generally actually we should uh, use that one only, mostly. Okay. In the cucumber part, yeah, we can indicate, but I think, I mean, that is the way generally we used to do, but it gets very, very complex project, you can think about that. Okay. Because, because that will be problem, nah? because here everyone need to understand the simple English language, nah? that is the reason why like, VDD came into the market. Because each and every pages you are segregating, nah? and people, right, people, most of the features they used to review it, but in case in different format might, that might be difficult again for the review, for them to review, but this format they can easily review it in understandable format. The objective of VDD is that anyone can give you the right review your scenario and then can give you the feedback okay that is the very easiest english and simple jarkin language right that is the way i also used to work in the project right in case you are doing not sure but uh, uh, excel part might ramp up but features file you should always use that way only okay dot features file scenario features outline you should write in the features file directly Then one or two part I will cover, then I will take a pause for any questions. Then tag in the cucumber. So uh, in the uh, test range you already learned, right? So suppose in case you are having 100 scenario, but not all the scenario I want to run every time. So I want to give some tag. So the smoke, sanity, uh, right, UAT, E2E, SIT, anything. So that I can run them anytime. I can give multiple tag as well. So what I will do in uh, it uh, might look very simple when you say just have one, two, or maybe five scenario features file. But however, in real time, it does not happen. For each features file under test, user might have 10, 20, or more uh, number of scenario in a single features file. They may present different purpose. It can be smoke, integration, end to end, regression, or UAT, like that. Different perspective, like developer, QA, BA, other person can involve. Different status, right? Your, I suppose in case your story uh, card is there, right? It can be completed, accepted, right? Or maybe the work in progress or defect pictures like that of CR something like that. So Qcommon has already provided a way to organize user scenario execution by using tags in features file. User can define each scenario with useful tag. Later in the runner file, they can decide which specific tag user want to execute. You need to use add the right address and after that you need to use the tag name to start your to define the stack first. Okay. But in case suppose say there are uh, stack can be defined at the scenario level or at the features level. Features level means all, all the scenario under the features will be having the same tag, right? Or you can add the stack at the scenario level also. So first what I'll do, I'll go to the features file here. And suppose say the scenario level, I will add some tag called smooth. I can add some tag called like uh, integration. Right here I can add some tag called say end to end here i can add some tag called at the rate uat right and add the rate smoke as well so any order you can give it you, you need to give some space and here say suppose say all the scenario at the features level you can give it say all your scenario here at the rate uat okay now so that is the tag is given. Now I want to execute through the runner class. So what I need to do, so here after the <coughs> glue, right, you need to add one more thing called tag. Okay. So after the glue, I will be using something called tag. Okay. Where equal to again first bracket and you can give some tag name. Suppose this move is the tag I want to execute and comma definitely. Now, first it will filter down both the thing, right? Whatever MOOC is there, those scenario only filter out, then execute it. So, yes, MOOC are only having two scenarios, that one and that one, right? So, I will go to the test runner class and I will try to execute. So, only my google.pages file will be executed and where MOOC is there. So, only out of total six scenario, only two will be executed. Right? What is did not run? Can anyone tell me? I have given smooth but not at the red sign, right? So you need to give at the red sign. 
so now it should work yeah you could see now it is filtering on two test cases whenever smoke is there tag okay search java tutorial search key comma tutorial from the google dot features right that is smoke there not there. now without smoke you want to execute everything right so what you can simply do you can use not sign before add the red smoke so without smoke wherever non thing is there so fourth scenario executed now out of six two is smoke so two it will exclude and then it will execute right you could see now fourth scenario got executed right facebook part three and other ones selenium root and root now you can use some condition and or or so here you can use something called or first or at the rate smoke or at the rate uat so whatever is available either smoke or uat it will ex execute so let's try to execute here okay then you can see five is executed so why because smoke is available for two here right and here for the other uat is executed at the features level three so five test case got executed now if you giving or and so what will be there in case both the tag is only available then it will be executed otherwise not a single scenario will be executed so and means it will go for both the condition is mad mate only then it will be executed so and uat and smoke only one condition is mad which is cucumber tutorial other thing is only uat is there not smoke that is the not executed so uat and smoke only this scenario got executed which is cucumber tutorial so that is the way you can also go with the tagging part which is really required in case you are having 100 to 100 scenario right but in case you just simply want to execute only the relevant one which is relevant required to your uh, like uh, uh, kind of a story card or maybe the different other status or the different testing type phase type so then you can just try to execute that way okay so that is called tags in cucumber i will take a pause guys any questions so far Anyone? Any doubt? Okay. Then an and or part I already covered. Okay. Then what is hooks? So uh, in test engine you already see something called like before test, after test, before method, after method also there, right? So suppose why it is required suppose in case you want to give some precondition the post condition so you can just give giving that part right or this kind of uh, annotation from the testing similarly cucumber also there are two kind of thing available called add rate before add rate after this is called hooks so multiple precondition are required to add the start of the test execution for most of the time right from setting up the web driver browser setting up cookies navigation to the url etc Similarly, some step must be performed after executing the test scenario like quitting driver, clearing browser cookies, generating report, etc. Such cases can be easily handled using one particular type of cucumber annotation namely cucumber hooks. Cucumber hooks are blocks of code which run before or after the scenario. It can be defined anywhere in the project or step definition layer using method called add rate before and add rate after. So only cucumber support these two hooks, no other thing, only before and add the after. Cucumber hooks annotation allows us to manage better code workflow and help in reducing code redundancy. Cucumber hooks are used in a situation where precondition or precoicide steps before testing any test scenario is performed. Okay, so just like I mentioned, so before hook it will execute before every scenario, after hook it will execute after every scenario. So what I can do, I can just simply go and copy it before and after hook. So this is the before. This is the syntax. I will go to the step definition class. I can add it also here before and after. So you could see some error message is coming. So I need to import the before from the cucumber, right? And after also from the cucumber. So now you could see, right? Let's uh, filter it out instead of and I can use let me just add the rate UAT. So okay, so there will be a couple of scenarios executed here. 
now before and after hooks added now let's try to run it so what will be there before and after hooks every time it will be executed for every scenario now if you go to the output here you could see right starting the test before hook closing the test executing for this scenario next, next scenario you could see starting the test ending closing the test also executed right starting the test closing the test whatever filtering criteria will be there automatically for every scenario to be executing before and after that is the importance of the hook so every time in case you need to launch the browser you need to maximize the browser right uh, if we start with some page you can give in the hook every time you need to close the browser you need to clear the cookies all this stuff you can give it in the after hook so that is the importance of the hooks the next one is like tagged hooks so tag what you already know right what is the thing you need to require for the uat or the smoke or sanity or the end to end like that in the real time you already know for different type of testing you'll be having some different url application url right but similar scenario will be executing only but using different url for like uh, developer there will be different environment for like uh, sanity test or the end to end right end integration there will be different system environment url or uat there will be different url production there will be different url but remaining other stuff will be still same right so these are the url but you can also vary it right so that is called tagged hook tagged hooks are basically the problem solver when user need to perform different before and after actions for different scenario to explain this simpler way i think user have five tag like sanity regress and integration which need to be mm, tested different url this is where tagged hooks help user to achieve that okay now say simply uh, commented out this part and copy this part Now, this MOOC tag, wherever is MOOC tag is there, suppose say here I have given, but here you can give the simply MOOC URL to be launched. You could see this will be executed before MOOC test cases. MOOC after, it will be executed after MOOC test cases. Integration, this will be integration after integration. You can give the URL, just given this for simplicity so you can understand. Now you can go to the step definition class, wherever UAT is there, or maybe you can go with the MOOC. Right? So that MOOC related part will be executed. Now, automatically it will call the uh, the tag wherever MOOC tag is available, right? Hooks. You could see now this part is executing here, right? This will be executed before any uh, MOOC test cases. And integration also coming because this part is common, right? That is the problem. Okay. So we should segregate it. Okay. Here I can simply give it as uh, MOOC, and here I should simply give it UAT. So now if I go here. Right, this will be executed before any smoke test because it is running with the smoke, and this will be executed after any smoke test. But in case you are giving it integration, so automatically your integration will be running, integration related thing will be called. Similarly, you can go with the other also, you can have n number of tag group. Now you can see output will be so aut automatically relevant tag will be called. This will be resolved before any integration test case if after any not calling the smooth tag hook. So that is the way you can use the tagged hook. So automatically it will be calling the relevant uh, hooks based on the tag. Then another one is last one related to the hooks is setting order or priority of the cucumber hook. Because here only two hooks is there before and after. But with these two hooks, can we have n number of hooks also generic wise? Yes, it is possible. But in case we are having n number of before, n number of after, how the sequence will be happening? So before hooks, you need to give, because you cannot have same thing without the differentiator, right? Otherwise, it will not work as part of Java concept, right? You should have the method overloading, that is called overloading. How the method can be overloaded? Either changing the signature or the method name, all this stuff, or the different parameter. So here you can use one context called priority or order, right? 
so before part order will be considered from ascending order 0 to 1 3 4 like that but for the after part order will be from the higher to lower higher will be executed first and lower will be executed last for the after part so in case user have already worked on test engine there must be familiar with the priority of the test and execution order similarly cucumber hooks can also be executed as per order let's consider example with a hook file consisting of two after hooks or two before hooks user will set the order of the hooks as per requirement by simply specifying the order as in the hooks given below so before part it will be ascending order and for after part it will be descending order okay so now let's comment it out first Otherwise, without the order, you will not able to create two before because it will method overriding will be problem, right? Now you could see before I have given order zero and one. After I have given one to zero because after it will take on the ascending order, right? Higher to lower. Before it will be taking from the lower to higher. Now you could see, yeah, right? First before, second before. Now go here. Right. this is the first before and second before that is executing based on the ascending order 0 to 1 for the uh, before for, but for the after it will be from the 1 to 0 so that will be executed first right after executing first you could see here and second it is 0 so it is ascending executing so that is the way it can still want to write have multiple uh, kind of step in the multiple hooks you can also do it Okay, so that is the concept of hook, tags, tag hook, and in case you are having multiple hook, how can you change the like priority or you can set the order of the cucumber hook? Any questions before going to the report part, which is very very critical, guys? No, 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 no. Step definition is required always. Otherwise, without the step, right, with the method properly mapped, how you can run it? So, step definition is having all your method, right, mapped. And where you will be having the code? I will show you later. You could see all the method, all the undefined step you are defining in the step definition class only. Right? This is the step and that is the way it is matching here, right? This is the step is matching with the method here. You could see from the step package step definition class and this is the method name it is mapping that step is mapping yeah yeah and all the method body i will show you how you can add the body and how you can run your script that's what i will show you okay. yeah because in case you want to run right multiple features file it is not possible one by one right Suppose the test range you already seen, right? In case you are having multiple classes from the multiple package, is it possible to run it? No. But here you can that is the option. Yeah, and yeah, in the features file, definitely uh, all the features it will consider, then it will take from the uh, in, in tags is available based on the tag it will try to execute and then it will execute. And report will also generated because all the reporting structure will be adding in the uh, 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 runner class only. It is runner class only. Is it clearing your doubt? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Yes, right. Because that is the two part, right? That is the two part is matching first. And then the other one is the other optional one. This is the optional one. But these two. No, and in real time BDD mostly you can use testng also, but uh, mostly using JUnit part, JUnit runner class. Okay. So yeah, G G testng also will be using SRS and others, but will be using testng features only. Okay. So this is all the framework is having some pros and cons, right? <laughs> okay. So yeah. 
yeah company's policy yeah that is the reason right in case say that i want to everything with any framework that will not be happen because can be possible but your lot of problem will be there lot of pros and cons will be there that is the reason lot of framework is available in the market na suppose in case you want to do with the mobile automation right so you need to go with the other framework right so that is the way in case like you want to go with the simple way right maybe only one automation lead is there and other was not lead automation person still they can contribute here right yeah it this is not taken by the thing so before taking any automation journey right i already mentioned the two thing you need to do first first one is the poc or the proof of concept you need to understand what is the requirement right what is the budget what is the headcount what is the skill set what are the different kind of application you want to automate right what are the tools technology available after that you need to select the tools right in case license or free and you need to select the relevant framework accordingly that is the first step second step what are the thing you want to automate for that you need to calculate the roi or return on investment right whatever you automating are you getting the real benefit or not otherwise there is no point of automation until customer want to everything automate that is few con maybe 5% cases customer say that no automate everything i don't want any roi even feels fine okay so this is the two part first you need to concern before anything after that we strategizing similarly for automation also planning resource mapping all this stuff and we having trying to do the automated but you have to use any kind of framework otherwise in case you can also automate 100 days through the framework i am not saying that but at that point of time the maintenance effort will be very very critical until you are using the framework you are using the not using the framework or usual component or reporting will be very very tough for that also that is the reason but because automation is not only the automate or the executing but you need to maintain it for the longer run you need to generate something you need to integrate with some sort of pipeline other stuff right so that automation will be automation only so minimal manual intervention will be required that is the main objective of the automation i need to execute in different browser companies and all this stuff right so that is the another approach yeah down the line yeah right better right yeah better no 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 that's the hybrid is fine hybrid suppose say it's hybrid is a combination of data driven keyword na data driven means you want to execute same task as along with keyword that you can do it hybrid hybrid is not with the bdd yeah hybrid is the data and keyword combination called hybrid and bdd is complete different framework behavior different development based on the like right thought is that like most of the kind of stakeholder can participate they can contribute without the programming knowledge without the framework knowledge because that is the reason it is called simple english language or jargon driven language is only for the features file no no then you need to create to different framework na because primarily test engine test engine also support qcam but that not be a problem but test engine generally uh, for the easy convenient we should use the j unit and test engine annotation we also use it not be a problem but generally we should use that qcam but is based with j unit easily okay and maven project okay i am not saying that nothing is possible but lot of problems lot of pros and cons to so handle this right lot of thing you need to spend so that is the reason better to use the convenient way but thing can be done not denying the fact but you know right everyone want like the kind of uh, uh, i mean easy approach so that like you no need to invest the time right here yeah yeah. Hmm. yeah so choice will be driven from your side also because as a automation right lead right you will be definitely letting uh, the approach know to the customer you can uh, you need to agree them that this is the pros and cons right these are the different thing different benefit if you use this part this part like that then they definitely they will also take a call because they are also not having some knowledge or business knowledge then as a collaboration way you will finalizing it collaborative way rest anyone any doubt satish mahi sanali madhur anyone are you able to understand guys not so easy <laughs> but because i am trying to show you like how to develop from the scratch okay but if you able to understand you can develop it by your own okay you no need to get any help from anyone 
step by step i am trying to implement it so yeah yeah that part definitely you need to do <laughs> if you have any doubt right you can go through my document document also is having mo all the information right most of the information is having so you can just copy the code from the document and i already shared you right all the most of the framework so you can download it and you can go through the code also okay okay go to the last important part uh, which is called the reporting part so reporting is really required right? because whatever you are doing at the end of that you need to publish the report in case you are doing manual api automation mobile any kind of skill because whatever exercise you are doing right you need to mention how many parts fail right some sort of report should be there so during test exercise either manual or automation it's always required to understand the output of the execution the execution output should display in specific format which immediately depicts the overall result of the execution Hence, our framework also should have the same capability to create output or generic test execution report. It is essential to know how better user can generate their Cucumber test report. As Cucumber is BDD framework, it does not have a fancy reporting mechanism in order to achieve this. Cucumber itself have provided nice feature to generate the report. Cucumber.io has developed free cloud based service for sharing report. Cucumber reporting service allows to configure Cucumber to publish result to the cloud which can be accessed from browser throughout the organization. Right? So you already seen the pretty part, right? So this first plugin is pretty. This provides more verbose output. Right? Sometimes in case you are not using pretty, the like, uh, output will not be like more verbose. Right? Sometimes some sort of explanation and other stuff might come. So that is the reason we'll be using plugin equal to pretty. Monochrome code reporting. If the monochrome option is set to false, then the console output is not as readable as it should be sometime. In case of monochrome, it is not defined in cucumber option, it takes the fall, default value as fall, false. So that is the reason we need to use monochrome equal to true. Then these are the kind of report you can generate HTML, JSON, XML, or JWT report. What you need to do to generate custom report in uh, HTML format, you need to use the below plugin under the pretty. So what I'll be doing, okay. So these are the four kind of report I can generate. So just under the pretty compete. And what you need to do, you need to give double bracket. So simply you need to change to double bracket. First bracket will not work in case you need to give the multiple annotations okay you can give uh, create multiple report giving comma 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 so i'll explain uh, json report html report and xml report And JUnit report is similar to HTML report only. Okay, so you can generate all report at the same time. So this is the part you can just simply copy it and you can just paste it to the double quote after the part. So here what I've given, I want to generate the report into the HTML folder, and this is the target folder. I want to create it, and this will be my folder structure I again, right? So this is the target folder I want to generate. You could see now. In the target folder, nothing is there, right? But I want to generate the report called folder called HTML report and the deep report HTML is the uh, extension. Similarly, for JSON report, also target folder that is the folder, and I want to the report the report.json XML also. I want to go the target folder and report.xml is the extension. Now press Ctrl S and try to run it. Now you could see one of one test case executed, but if you give it UAT. So multiple uh, test case will be executed better we can generate better report right you could see now four of four now if you go to the project you can simply refresh the project you could see now target folder is having some value right html report first you can check html report got generated now open with web browser you could able to see the html report right 
four scenario, two scenario, four total four scenario got run, two scenario unknown. Why? Because it's not covering with the tag, right? And if you expand it, you could able to see what are the features got executed, what are the scenario got executed, all the details. If you expand the next one also, you could able to see the details. So that is the HTML, but still better report, right? You could able to see what are the scenario executed, what are the scenario skipped, all this part. But this is the skip, means not executed, the question mark. Total number of scenario got executed. This is called X. And what are the thing, right? Operating system, CPU, runtime, what time it got take, all this target will get to know. Then JSON report. This is JSON format only, so you can open with like uh, system editor. Studio. One with text editor. So that is the way JSON format only to be displayed here. Similarly, if you go with the XML report, report.xml, open with generic text editor, a JUnit view, are you already seen it? JUnit view, you could see that is the XML format. Right? What are the step got passed? Exit all this part. So this is the three report you can generate. Now that report might not suffice, right? So we require better report, which is the extend report, right? I could say that is the best report. I mean, which will be very, very uh, user friendly with the customer as well, and you can get the complete view. So, in the uh, previous uh, part, right, you already learned how to generate HTML, JSON, XML generated report. However, these reports might not be appropriate sometime to share with the respective stakeholder. As demand is complete exhaustive report with proper graphs, pie chart and more granular data. Extend report is a powerful open source library used in testing automation framework for generating beautiful and user friendly HTML report. It allows the user to customize the uh, report template by using custom uh, um, uh, CSS or JSON or XML. It can integrate with almost all the major testing framework like JUnit testing etc. Extend report are HTML based uh, document that can query detailed information about the test executed along with custom logs, screenshot and use a pie chart for represent an overview of the test. Extend report cannot directly integrate with the Cucumber framework. However, in case user want to generate extend report for their Cucumber uh, feature, user need to, will need to use some adapter plugin. Additionally, this plugin will allow the extend report to recognize and capture scenarios and features present in the framework. It is where the Grass Super Cucumber Adapter plugin comes into the picture. This plugin is built on the top of extend report and allows user to quickly generate extend report for the Cucumber network. So what are the two plugins required? First, right, you would require uh, uh, extend report adapter plugin. So what you need to do, you need to again go to the magnet repository, you need to type here extend report Cucumber 7 adapter. Extend report Cucumber 7 adapter. Right, extend report cucumber 7 adapter search it this part is required this two plugin is required extend report cucumber 7 adapter so i can go with any person here so maybe extend report cucumber any person so generally Point two point zero I have used, but later person might be came. Other person should also work. You can try. So again, I need to go to the map and form .xml file, and I need to add those dependency here under the dependencies tag. Any sequence is fine, not be a problem. Any sequence you can add it under the dependencies tag. So this is the first one. Second one, I will also require extend PDF report. This is the two adapter plugin is required. 
extend hyphen PDF hyphen D four. Press Ctrl S. So it will download all the relevant jar file for the extended report. The next thing is that where the, where which folder all your features runner step classes there you need to create a proper this file new file. You can give some name called extend dot proper this file P R O P R T I E S. Okay, this file you need to give it. Then next, right? You need to give that extend this two part two line of code you need to add it first so you don't need to do anything already setup is done and these two line you need to copy i have already done the steps no worry that part is done then to generate the report you need to add this part right under the pretty in the double code fixed you don't need to change anything so you can have all your report not be a problem at all yeah. now let's try to run it it will generate the extended report now if four scenario got executed right uh, refresh the project again <coughs> so it go to the target folder you could see that report generated right what is the name we have given what is the report name it should be target folder and automation hyphen report dot html should be there in the target folder it's coming and the mother folder target folder and it is generating now if you re export it uh, uh, open with web editor web browser you could see now it's generating better extend report now you could see this is the high level part if you expand it right okay pass you could able to see how many scenario got passed and you can able to go to see right what are the scenario level and you go to the other scenario what is the time what time is taken right what is the end time start time what is the status all this stuff is coming so that is the high level one second one is like related to tag how many tag executed you could see for which tag which scenario got executed right other tag how many scenario got executed and this is the kind of um, bar chart you could able to see hmm. you could see what is the start time you generated report how many time it got thing how many features passed how many features fail right this is the graph here this is the scenario how many passed with the graph proper how many scenario passed fail like that and what is the tag wise right what is the percentage right what is the time taken this is the giving better report right extend report but what problem next time if you just try to uh, change the configuration right say i mean instead of i want to run it for only smoke so what will happen your old report will be replaced because every time it will be having generating same report extend automation hyphen uh, report html right and now it is having only one scenario but if you refresh the project right your old part is getting re re I mean replaced but it is you you are running it hundred time and hundred time you want to keep the report right so that you can uh, show to the customer but that part will not be solved so what you required uh, you required a few more add-in so that you can generate all the report right and now you could see only one pass right so but your old report got vanished okay means replaced okay so what you can do okay to backup we need to keep the backup of all the report so as of now you have learned how to you can generate an extended report in cucumber j unit in case of multiple times execution it will keep on overriding the previous report once the new report creates usually user need to maintain the backup of all report generated from the previous test hence user need to save each report with different uh, report name or folder name with the extend report, uh, extend reporter uh, plugin adapter, it's pretty easy to create report in different folder names. User need to add two settings to their extender properties file, base folder name and base folder date time pattern. 
this value assigned to this will merge to the create a folder name consequently a report will generate inside that the value for the base folder or date time pattern should be uh, a valid date format okay these two line of code you need to add it in the like uh, properties file so what i'll do i'll simply copy it and simply add it into the external report so what addition i am doing it right i want to create a folder called extend report target folder and i want to create ddmmyy hour minute second you can change it so our minute second will be always unique right second will not be common so in case you want to generate report might be taking two or three seconds right definitely minimum so second will not be unique right should, should be always unique so it should create every time unique report now if you run it so it will generate the report in the that format now just if the project here you could see this folder is getting created right 26th august 8 49 34 seconds now if you go to the target folder you could see that is the report now next time if you run it for the uh, uat you would be getting another report which will not be kind of replacing the old one that is the beauty of this one so that you can have all your report handy in case you are running for 100 times you can also let individual listener know or uh, right stakeholder know that i have run for 100 times i have generated for 100 report so your report can be right uh, you could see now it's got generated another report right uh, like uh, 85003 target folder and you could see this is another report okay so that is the way you can keep a backup of all the report in case you are running it for 100 times okay so that is the way you can start your journey with the cucumber framework now I will explain real time framework how we should code write the thing. Okay, let's close this part. Okay, so I already have my framework created. Which is cucumber training session, similar way only, but I have tried to implement the code. Okay, so you could see there is a two features file, Facebook feature. So I will expand the Facebook feature. Here you could see, right? If I want to enter here, if I go to the Facebook page. Let's try to manually understand. So if I give that username, and this is the password. So what it will give me? It will be giving me some sort of error. Yeah, you could see the email address of the mobile number you have entered is not connected to the account. So that part I need to validate in the real time, right? So I first what I'll do? I'll open the uh, browser. I launch the Facebook page, I'll enter the email and password field, I'll click on the login button, and that error will come. That error I need to validate. In case success, I will be going to the Facebook home page. That is my expected. So this part I will implement it here. So how I have implemented? I have implemented in the uh, 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 step class. So for every uh, part, I have created a uh, step representative class. So Facebook login. You could see now. I have used declared something called driver, web driver driver, right? which is global variable okay then i have used before and after so before part i'm setting the properties for the chrome browsers right creating an object for instance driver and maximizing it after closing it then what are the method there first time i'll be having or opening the facebook home page right based on the step written you could see facebook home page open so here i have writing right driver dot get facebook open page that part is done second method I am entering some username password, right? And I am clicking on the sign in button. So, you have mentioned this step. I am identifying the email field, I am entering the email. I am identifying the password field, I am entering the password. I am identifying the login field, and I am clicking on that. Then, third step. So, it should be unsuccessful. So, how I can verify the unsuccessful? Means I should have the error, right? This error message I should verify. So, I have created the XPath for that error, and I am creating the text here, spring, and I am uh, copying it in the expected error and actual error I know that this is the error should come right uh, sorry actual error I know and this is the error should come and I am simply asserting the expected and actual error in case it is matching my test will pass so that is the way I have just trying to uh, create the real time code right trying to implement it now if I go to the runner class right if you click on the run so similar way only right let's try to run it so you could see now it will execute based on the step provided it will open the facebook page 
it will be entering the email id password it is generating the report so it's sort of getting the exact email sorry error and it is validating because it is passing that is the reason it's got failed so what is the error is given now let's change the email error and so it will fail so it's it's it matching so now if you give one here so it should not match expected actual error should not match so it could fail the test case now if you again try to run it right so that particular thing it will fail so there again trying to launch that is the way you can have n number of test cases and you can automate it so you could see now it got fail what is the failure reason so either you can get it from here or you can get it from the trace copy trust you could see this is the fair a failure what is the failure you could see expected should be this one part should be available but actual one is not there that is the reason is got fail now it's already having my uh, right test uh, uh, report indicated now let's refresh it uh, extend report also indicated now for the failure part uh, refresh now if you go to the target folder you could see the extend report got generated what is the today's date 26854 that folder you can expand you can have n number of report whatever you have in target folder right click here you can go to the open with windows so this is the extend report you could see now fail and you could see the failure reason also coming here that is the beauty of the extend report right from the reporting itself anyone can get to know that what is the error is happen which line number you could see that line number feature line everything will be coming here and here right you could see this is another thing is coming for the failure you could able to see which failure what is the reason of the failure another thing is coming in the extend report again based on the tag and based on the report also right okay you could again you could see here in case it's failure yeah start time end time number of uh, feature passed number of features fail what is the features uh, passed what is the step passed what is the scenario passed everything will be coming and you are also getting the result here right what percentage got passed what time it taken so that is the way real time in case you are having n line number number whatever step we are showing those steps you can add your code line of code actually okay i will just repeat it yeah yeah that part you can do it right yeah you can use the screenshot here in the uh, before after right this part so this other line of code you can use it in the setup after right tear down you can add the screenshot in case of failure okay or sometime right yeah right report as well so automatically it will be added to the report so this is the little complex part but yeah you can do it but not be uh, yeah but yeah this is the thing you can do it with the extend report as well okay i will just repeat it once more time before wrapping it up and then i will take any questions here so you uh, you already learned about different kind of framework right uh, data driven keyword hybrid so uh, kind of bd is nothing but the behavior driven development where not only the tester automation tester manual tester developer uh, stakeholder uh, product owner scrum master everyone can interact okay so here the thing uh, shifting from thinking in test uh, to thinking in behavior every stakeholder can interact right cucumber is the tool which support the bd framework right um, and uh, you need to first download uh, the java id and the eclipse plugin after that you need to uh, create a maven project so artifact id group will be required then you need to go to the maven repository.com path and you need to download for the uh, cucumber java cucumber core cucumber geonet cucumber pico container jarkin from the io cucumber packages same but you need to download it right you need to create your uh, features file and you need to create some feature scenario and you can create the step difference in class whatever step is undefined you can create another class and you can create multiple uh, kind of um, features file multiple scenario right and all the step undefined step you can define it in case you are having some common step precondition step you can use the background for the same features file in case you want to execute same uh, scenario again and again with variety of the data you can use data driven approach where you can use um, uh use that uh, scenario outline along with examples you can use stacks in case you want to differentiate your execution in different category or the testing type testing phases different other way you can use the tag 
so you can use at the rate tag not and or sign you can use hooks so in case you want to define something called precondition post condition you can use hook and in case for different tag in case you want to use the hook you can use tagged hook as well so the relevant thing will be executed based on the tag mentioned in the hook and in case you want to use the multiple hooks so you can use multiple hooks as well before and after you so you need to use the give some ordering here for the before part it will be ascending order and after part it will be descending order after hook part you can generate some beautiful report like it can be uh, pretty monochrome and then json html xml JUnit report you can also generate the extended report because sometimes these report not look good but sometimes you need to share the compared report to the stakeholder so you can go with the extended report and uh, for that one you need to download the uh, two um, another plugin from the maven repository folder one is like uh, extend report cucumber 7 adapter plugin one is extend pdf reporter then you need to create a uh, properties file you need to add the line of code uh, and then you also in the pretty plugin part you need to add that part and then you can generate the report but sometime right in case you are generating the report backup will not be maintained so if you want to backup all the reported so you need to add these two lines like uh, target folder you can create a folder where you can give some timestamp that is the way right you can start your journey uh, for creating a BDD framework from the scratch along with reporting part okay hopefully that session will help but yeah a lot of practice will be required guys okay so that's all from today's session guys thank you